in Gloucestershire. And the reason you don't find them in Gloucestershire is it just isn't the right place for them. And it's very interesting. Flighters and how it works is really interesting. There's an awful lot to it. For example, you could watch a swan or a goose flying very long distances, beating their wings for literally hours. You wouldn't see a vulture or an eagle doing that. Because vultures and eagles, somebody drops a bit, require what is called environmental lift. Yes. <laughs> environmental lift is just a really posh way of saying that they need either thermals or rising currents of air. And when I say they need thermals, they need them consistently, like every day. And we don't get them every day here. In fact, we're flipping like if we get any. And if they don't have thermals, then they tend to live in mountainous areas so that they can then jump off a cliff and kill a tennis ball. <laughs> We've just found a tennis ball, ladies and gentlemen. We've just killed the tennis ball, ladies and gentlemen. What are you doing with that? Thinks it's an egg. Look, sitting on it. Seriously, he's killed the tennis ball. You can't have it. Yeah. No, it's not edible. <laughs> Will you stop playing with that ball? Give it to me. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, about a week ago, somebody left quite a small, light-coloured stick there. Killed the stick, carried it up to the tree, sat in the tree, came back in, brought the stick with him. <laughs> What a clever boy! I'll give you the tennis ball when we get back, okay? You can have it by your part. If I had a radio, remind me when I go to ask somebody to turn the hose pipe off because my pond's overflowing. Now, here is a, what's called an Indian tawny eagle. <laughs> okay, we'd like to show you natural behaviour here, ladies and gentlemen. This is your chance to have a lovely photograph of an eagle sitting in a tree. And I'm able to tell you that he is not the one that holds the record for sitting in a tree which was one of his sisters who sat in a tree for three days. Uh, in fact, it was a tree just behind this wood here. And you will notice that all of the birds have a little thin wire coming down their tail. That is a radio transmitter. It doesn't, as a couple of people have asked over the years, make them radio control. <laughs> Although it might be quite fun if it did. All it does is it, it's, a, it's basically a modern bell tells you where they are and it means you can track them and so literally uh, she sat in the tree and we just used to point the receiver over there she's still there yes fine and eventually three days later she came down now you'll notice that i haven't called hair out i have waited for him to take off of his own accord and it's really important that he does that because i don't want him to learn that every time he sits in a tree i give him a piece of food because if he does that i've just trained him to sit in a tree so he knows he has to take off and he has to do a little bit of flying before I beat him. <laughs> Unfortunately, he also knows that if he lands on the ground like that, so then I have to go back to the post. He eventually walks back, comes on the post and I give him a piece of meat, which I shouldn't do because that's really bad behavior. <laughs> But, you know, I've known him since he was an egg, and he's the last Indian tawny eagle I will ever get the chance to fly, because unfortunately we're no longer breeding them, and there are none in the country apart from the ones that we have. And here at 16, I reckon I've probably got, if I'm very lucky, maybe another five or six years of flying him. That doesn't mean to say he's not going to last any longer than that, but I have his uncle as well, and he got, like me, arthritic. And so he can fly, but he's very uncomfortable doing it. No, you're not getting anything for that. So what, what, uh, his uncle is now in an aviary with a wife. Well, no, that would be the wrong description, really. His uncle is now in an aviary with a female who has ignored him for five years. <laughs> we keep hoping maybe she might do something one day. But as it took us 15 years to breed our stellar sea eagles, we've still got a bit of time. And for us, A is absolutely lovely. <laughs> you miserable bird. <laughs> yeah, can you see he's trying to call the shots here? He's definitely, that was I'm coming in. And so if I hadn't ducked, he'd have just landed. <laughs> 
he let me hate him try. He is a hundred percent trustworthy and <laughs> quite the nicest eagle apart from one. But <laughs> he's getting a bit calling the shots these days. I suppose that's what happens when you get older, isn't it? Yes, it is. And anyone who tells you, all you younger people, anyone who tells you you will get more tolerant when you get older, <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> not only will you not get more tolerant, you'll get more in the Do you want to come over here? We cut those down trees down for you in January so that we get a nice breeze through so you could do some more flying. So what do you do? Sit on the damn post. <laughs> okay. The reason we fly them is to prove to you that they are nowhere near as dangerous or aggressive or any of the things that people think about eagles. You'd be amazed at how many people think eagles carry off Labradors, small children. I've been trying to get one to do that forever. And never done this Sheep, lambs, and they really don't. Hair weighs 1,555 grams today. That's under two kilos, i.e. under four pounds. If he was given a full-sized male British rabbit, he could not even pick it up. He'd be delighted. <laughs> and they would keep him going food-wise for about two or a week and a half. And he wouldn't do any work for about another two weeks. But look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that lovely to see? Now, as I said, we're not going to get huge, dramatic areas of flying, but just seeing him do that for me is a privilege. You like it? You approve? Okay. Right, now, he doesn't like being carried through here. So what we do is we go to the back post. But I have to walk backwards so I can see when he's ready to take off. You have no idea... Tip, if you've got your radio, can you radio to Rob and ask him to turn the water off because the pond is now full? And then when I get nearly there, I turn around and run. <laughs> Talk to people on there. And then, wait, wait, wait. Call him to the kitchen. You think you've made a round of applause to be kids? <laughs> 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 